Once upon a time, on the island of Sodor, there was a little steam engine called Edward. This story is about him. Edward was a tender engine. A small tender engine, but a tender engine nonetheless. He was an affable sort, and did whatever job needed doing, without complaint. But as the years went by, Edward got older, and younger engines got larger and stronger. Other engines arrived to take over the ever-increasing workload. Now, Edward lived in a shed with these other engines. Bigger and stronger they all were, and they enjoyed boasting about it. Hmm, driver seems a bit late today. <laughs> Why do you care? It's not like you're going out today. I was just uh, observing is all. Driver won't be choosing you again, little Edward. He wants big, strong engines, like me and Henry here. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. We are modern Inuit. The fat controller brought us on to do the work that you simply can't do anymore. Your days are numbered, little Edward. I'm afraid to say... Oh, shut up, would you? No one asked. Sometimes I think you just like hearing your big fat mouth talk. Oh, oh I say. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to them, Edward. You'll be let out soon. They're just... letting you have a well-deserved rest is all. I can still be useful. All I need is a chance to show it. And that's how things went for a while. Day after day, Edward would watch the other engines be steamed up for work while he sat in his berth ignored. But one fateful morning... Oh, hello there. Oh. Why are you sad? Hmm. Would you like to come out today? Huh? What? Oh, yes, please. Uh, yes, please. Love the enthusiasm. <laughs> now, let's get you steamed up. And for the first time in a long time, Edward's boiler was warm. Once he'd built up steam, the driver pulled the lever and Edward puffed away. Look at me now! <laughs> Look at me now! <laughs> Enjoying the view from back here, Gordon? <laughs> Needless to say, Gordon and the others were rather cross at being left behind. Edward's back. Well, well, well. Look who finally decided to crawl back home. Did you enjoy your little day out, Edward? Why, yes, I did, Gordon. Thank you for asking. Well, don't get used to it. Driver only took you out today because he felt sorry for you. Oh, is that right? Because Driver just told me I did so well that... He's taking me out again tomorrow. So, what do you think of that, hmm? What? I, 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 <laughs> but Edward never did hear what Gordon had to say that night, for he was so tired and happy that he fell asleep at once. Uh, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Arr! <laughs> oh dear, having an issue there, little Edward? It's only a few couches, mate. Can't be that heavy, surely. Uh, uh, not appreciating the commentary. Don't listen to them, Edward. You've got this. Yes, keep going, keep going. Ah, <laughs> uh, I've done 
done it! We're off! Oh, thank yes, you. Yes. Got on. Ooh, did you see him straining? Mm-hmm. Sounded painful. Just pathetic, if you ask me. I don't know why the Fat Controller keeps him on. Edward should just give up and be preserved before it's too late. Oh, shut up. You're all just jealous. Edward's better than any of you. Quite right, Doc. Edward may be old, but he'll surprise us all. He always does. Mm, I'd like to believe you, my dear Boko, but time is inevitable. Edward's not long for this railway. Mark my words. On the way home, the weather changed. Wind and rain buffeted Edward, his sanding gear failed, so his fireman rode on his front, dropping sand on the rails by hand. Oh, come on! Come on! Oh, this is dreadful! There was worse to come. Before his driver could check him, his wheels slipped fiercely. With a shrieking crack, something broke and battered his frame and splasher up and out of shape. The worried passengers stood around as the crew inspected the damage. Repairs took some time. One of your crank pins broke, Edward. So we've taken your side rods off. Now you're a single, like an old-fashioned engine. Do you think you can get these people home on one axle? They must be back tonight. I'll try, sir. Edward puffed and pulled his hardest. Come on! Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come but on, come on, come on! But his wheels just kept slipping, and he could not start the train. Uh. The passengers were getting anxious. Looks like we may have to give it up at this rate, old boy, and send for another engine. <laughs> no! Not happening! I took this train out! And I'm getting it home. The passengers are relying on me. Very well. Hmm. I have an idea. Okay, Edward. Let us try one more thing. Driver, fireman and guard went along the train making adjustments between the coaches. All right. We've loosened the coaches' couplings, Edward. Now you should be able to pick them up one by one, just as you do with trucks. Oh. That should be easier. With everyone back on board, they were ready. The driver carefully opened the regulator. Okay, let's do this. Come on! Come on! Come on! Steady, old boy! Don't give up! Come on! Come on! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Aha! It's working! I feel them moving! Keep going, boy! You've got this! I've, I've done it! I've done it! <laughs> Woohoo! Well done, boy! <laughs> You've got them! You've got them! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Steady now! The passengers were thrilled too. Most leaned their heads out of the windows. They waved and shouted, cheering Edward on. Fat Controller paced the platform. Gordon and Henry waited anxiously with their trains. Over an hour late. Unacceptable. He just can't keep up with us. Mm, yes. Give up and be preserved. Edward is useless. Huh? Gordon was fortunately interrupted. Battered, weary, but unbeaten. Edward finally steamed into view. I'll do it. I'll do it. 
I've done it. You took your time, Edward. I'll say over an hour late. That is unexpected. The crowd of excited passengers spilled out of the coaches and swept the fat controller aside. They cheered and thanked Edward and his crew. Their roars echoed throughout the station. Gordon was speechless. Edward went away for repairs and returned home some weeks later. Hey, there he is! Well done, <laughs> Edward. A real hero you are. Mm, have to say, quite impressive. A credit to our railway he is. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh? I just wanted to say, Edward, you put on a grand display of what a, what a real engine is the other day. And you are an example to us all. Perhaps I was wrong all this time, Edward. Old you may be, but useless you are not. And? And? Uh, oh, y yes. <laughs> and uh, you will always have a place on this railway. And? And I... I... Come on, Gordon, you can say it. Oh, I'm getting to it. I'm, um, I'm... I'm sorry. Wow, an apology from Gordon. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. Yeah, what do you think of that, Edward? Edward? But Edward never did hear what Gordon had to say that night. Faye was so tired and happy that he fell asleep at once. Thank you.